It's the 1980s Action Heroes. Featuring Rambo. And John McClane. There's sadly no Arnold Schwarzenegger because he didn't put the cookie down! No! But it's not every day that action heroes actually get put into games, unless you're Fortnite for instance. So it's a pretty big surprise when we found out that we were actually getting John McClane and Rambo. But like I said, it's a bit confusing that they didn't bring in probably one of the biggest action stars of all time, which is Jean-Claude Van Damme. As we all know, he's probably one of the biggest. No, obviously not. He, he doesn't even qualify on the top five, in my opinion. Wesley Snipes is higher up in action heroes than he is. But, if I would have to put another one in there, obviously it would have to be my boy Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't know why he didn't make it into this. Maybe it's to do with the licensing, or maybe, you know, Predator Hunting Grounds, they may have, like, exclusivity to him. Who really knows, to be honest with you, but it was quite interesting not to see his name there, considering he technically would be one of the biggest, especially with Commando, Last Action Hero, you know, all of those big films that he did, especially Terminator. Imagine a Terminator bundle. That would be absolutely amazing if they did that. But here we are with John Rambo and John McClane, which is very odd to say if I must say but to be fair these are uh, these little uh, characters that they've added in the models actually aren't too bad originally they did leak and they looked a little bit horrifying <laughs> And I didn't think that they would be worth their money, but to be fair, they're actually worth what you would want to pay for them, really. I like, I picked Rambo simply because I really like Sylvester Stallone. I've always been a Stallone fan. It wasn't that long ago I re-watched Die Hard. Yeah, it was pretty good, but Stallone still has a soft spot, man. Sylvester Stallone, he definitely understood the assignment when he was given it, when he was reading the scripts. He, Sylvester Stallone is just on it. What more can I say, really? Damn, it's cold. I should have worn some shoes. <laughs> Did you see any zombies out there? <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I, I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> As we're on the topic about zombies, I love a few things that they don't actually tell you about is the weapons that they have come with certain variants, so they get dismemberment rounds, so instead of having to pack a punch your weapon in order to get these special abilities, they're already on the gun. I guess some people would say that that's pay to win, but to be fair, like, if you have a bundle and you spend that little bit extra, uh, you know, I suppose it's a nice little bonus to know that you don't have to really, like, try so hard. Another thing that they added recently, which I found really interesting, was you can actually fish for certain stuff which at the same time is, you know, what it is is what it is, I guess. But now you can fish uh, in the game, which is also a, a nice little touch. Also, the one thing that I love most about Rambo is when he pulls out his minigun, he just goes on a rampage like, like he does in the films. Like he just has that proper screen that he does. Oh my God, just take a listen. I mean, I don't know about you lot, but that was pretty epic. Also, that they have on Cold War is they have Rambo's Gun Game and Die Hard Hardpoint, which is exactly what you expect it would be. But it's cool that they have this theme going around at the minute. I've not played any of these game modes, but I thought it was worth mentioning that for a limited time for the next 23 days, I think, as the day of this recording. Uh, yeah, those playlists are still there, so might as well grab them whilst you can. Last up on our list is Power Grab. Basically, it's the same as the normal Van Dusk map, but this time, instead of being able to just just kill and survive until the last circle is around. The idea is that you have to collect as many dog tags as possible and each time you grab a dog tag you get a level up on what you can get so that will range from kill streaks to being able to respawn back to being able to get a better weapon. I think even in some cases if you have enough you can even get a loadout drop but I'm not too sure. I only played a few rounds of this map. It was okay. I still prefer rebirth simply because rebirth is exactly what I like in a, in a you know first person shooter game. It's really quick it's fast it's a small map and most of the time it's a lot of fun there are days where i stress pretty hard but for the most part i really do enjoy that game mode but as i said this game mode is still here if you want to play on the normal warzone um free list i guess if that makes sense so if you buy the game as a free to play it will be there ready to go when you want to play it uh, but i'm pretty sure that's only going to be there for a limited amount of time also don't forget that there is at least four to three days left depending on when you see this video of a zombies free weekend 
Island, so you can play zombies in multiplayer for Cold War. Just worth noting. But that will be it for today's episode. I hope you guys really did enjoy. And uh, big shout out to Ryan David again for helping me with some of the edits on this video. And hopefully we'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out, my boys. Peace out. Alpha Centauri. <laughs>